Incorrect income reporting, missed deductions or credits, wrong filing status, missing dependents, changing in K-1 and investment income, IRS or state adjustment, and tax regulation changes. Those are all reasons for amended tax return. And the impo most important this year would be the tax changes, tax law changes. For example, the new tax bill has this the following, that you can go back to 2022 and 2023, amend them to take 100% of research and development expenses. So we'll see lots of amendments coming up now and in the next year. So in this video, I'll show you how to prepare a Meditex return in Drake Tax Software. So let's go. I just realized I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Kat. I have more than 12 years of experience working in tax. I was tax accountant for Coldplay and Jack White. I also was preparing billionaire's tax return at EY. So I, I think I know my stuff. So here on YouTube, I'm teaching you how to do the same. I'm sharing my knowledge. Subscribe to my channel. Check it out my website. Let's go back to the video. So you originally have three years after the deadline or two years after the tax was paid, whichever is later, right? To get to do amended return to get refund. For e-filing, we also have a time limitation. So for example, now it is almost November 2025. So we can e-file amended tax return for um, 2024, the one we just finished, 2023 and 2022. 2022, we can only do until November. The reason is because we'll be probably government close out. I mean, IRS, the system for e-filing is closing in December for maintenance and stuff like that. So if you want to file 2022, 2023, 2024, do it now. In months and a half, you would not be able to do it. So what to do with previous tax returns, you have to paper file them. Also about those deadlines, what I mentioned in the beginning, this is for getting refund. Obviously, if you owe them, you can amend tax return and pay more taxes anytime you want, but you have a limitation when you can e-file it compared to when you need to mail them. So those are usually three years. Alrighty, now let's do our favorite part. Let me show you how to do it in Drake Tax Software. Let's dive in. Drake Tax Software, our favorite software. Let's do amended tax return. So for now, I'm having an assumption that the tax return was not prepared in Drake, right? So we have to create a brand new tax return. If you uh, already have Drake tax return in Drake, please go to the following steps and I can show you how to do amended tax return. But for now, let's create a new tax return. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do individual tax return and I'll just explain you what we are amending it for. So first, let's start with the name. So let's see, it will be my name, Kat K. All right. So here we go. We have um, Drake tax, individual tax return. I'm going to explain a little bit for people like who never used Drake, never did amended tax return. So I'm so sorry for over explanation, but it's better to explain more so everybody gets it that nobody understands. So filing status. We'll do a single married filing jointly, separately. For this example, I'm going to do single because then I don't have to enter the spouse information. So date of birth, I'm going to enter uh, any date, but like this is not my date of birth. I was born in June, so I'm Gemini. Uh, but um, this is just for presentation but my birthday is June uh, 4th so if you ever want to do uh, say happy birthday please do that so anyways the street address so we just enter any street we want let's do we do a uh, any uh, pretty much any so this is information that is necessary before we move to next step and let's uh, yeah sure let's do California whatever doesn't matter okay cool enter basic information the next uh, step for us would be, I'm so sorry for moving this, but um, all right, so there is a couple steps I outlined for you in this beautiful Word document. So how to amend tech, Drake tax return will be one, two, three, five steps. Super easy, just five steps, not, nothing special. So create new tax return if you haven't prepared the tax return in Drake. If you did, please go to uh, step number three. But for now, we assume we did not. 
So created new text return. Enter original data in this screen for amended text return. Then make corrections and add explanation in e-file. Super easy, right? So let's go. Let's do it. So what do we? Um, uh, let's see if we have notes in this computer. I'm using my remote. I know I have notes here, but I don't know how to access them. In any case, uh, let me take a look. Well, let's continue and then I'm going to go get back to my notes if I need to. So the assumptions we're making, I'm going to add it to the screen that, the, for example, I was just explaining to you that research and development can be 100% expense and can be retroactively, uh, retroactively, I'll make sure to write that word. So you can go back 2022, 2023 and 2024 and amend tax return. And please check on 2022, but in this, uh, because um, the legislation is in process, they're not finalized yet, but let's assume 2022, we can go back, the business tax return is amended, so we have more expenses now, and now our income is lower, so we receive K-1, originally it was 10,000, and amended K-1 show 8,000 of income, so we can get some money back, of course I would record a video about receiving money back, not paying more to IRS, so that is the reason why we prepare an amended tax return. So the first step, as I mentioned, in this beautiful, beautiful explanation, we go to the next step, is go to to enter original data on screen X, right? So we go here and um, we start with original filing status. So that's important if the filing status changed. So let's say it was married filing separately. Now it's married filing. Oh, I'm sorry. This is all about original. This is all about original, but I'm, why, why I'm saying it's if it's changed, we could see the change here. So let's say for this example, it's not changed. Adjusted gross income, this is something that was originally filed. So for me, let's say it was 10,000. Itemized deduction, this is how much itemized or standard deduction was in 2022. So we can Google it and enter whatever it was in 2022. Qualified business deduction. So this is all we get from prior year form 1040. So let me show you that form 1040. So I decided to actually open 2022 1040. So I'll, I can show you where information is coming from. So when you have original prior year tax return, this is where you get information. So it's, it is asking you basically lines from here. So here's adjusted cross income line 11. So from original tax return, we take that amount, standard or itemized deduction, qualified business income, taxable income. Then it will ask us for total tax, federal withholdings, and how much we had to pay as original. So this is where information is coming from, right? So here you go. We just enter. Um, I, I need to look it up what the tax would be on 10,000, but I'll show you right now. Uh, but basically a standard deduction. So I'm just going to enter whatever the standard deduction was for that year. And usually I would use, um, I would use uh, prior year tax return. This is just me showing you how to do it. Okay, uh, let me make this a little bit smaller. So sorry, and we can just kind of do it right now. Okay, cool. Uh, so this is where amendments are entered, and then we need to make changes. Uh, because I didn't necessarily prepare this tax return just yet, I would like to get the original information. So for example, um, let's say I um, let me show you how much the income would be if I would have I would have ten thousand in income, for example, from K one. So we go to a, a partnership S corp. I guess let's do partnership, and we have partnership name. Not so boring CPA. So it's me and my imaginary partners that I don't have. <laughs> and originally I had ten thousand in income. Oops, hundred thousand. So if I had 10,000, this is how my numbers will look like. So I would have 10,000 in income. I would have 12, uh, I guess 10,000 is a bad idea. Let's do 100,000 because I would not pay any income um, except uh, self-employment tax. So I'll just do 100,000. I think that would be a better example. Uh, so let's say I'm having 100,000, I have the standard deduction 12,950, so my original taxable income is 87,050, right? So I go to this form X, 87, 
and enter under, I guess I don't need to accept So adjusted gross income, I enter itemized deduction, we just enter. So next one would be, for me, would be tax and pretty much it. So let's take a look. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm just gonna interrupt you for a second. I also created a brand new Drake Tax software course, online course when you, I can teach you how to do so many cool things with Drake. So I'm covering all the details about income, individual and business income tax. So I'm gonna show you how to do the basics of tax preparation and then we can apply it using the Drake Tax software. So check it out my website and subscribe to my channel for more updates about the course creation and obviously useful videos. Well, I hope they're useful. I'm sorry. Um, let's see what it is. So I have 87,050 my taxable income, which is regular less standard deduction. My tax would be 14,774. And I'll, let's just regard this penalty because it's not as important. 14,774. So let's go 14, my tax would be 14,774 and my 10,000, right? So 100,000, I'm sorry. So here is, it's keep popping up because I need to enter the reason why I'm amending, but I would like to do it a little bit later. So for now, um let's look at this form 1040x so this is purpose why we're doing this let me get, like now i'm getting to the point here is how our amending 1040x is going to look like this um column a will be original amount amounts right and now something changed for me so as i explained we are assuming that now this income is not hundred thousand but let's say eighty thousand so i'll pay less in taxes right so what i have to do uh, like I said, we already did this first steps and the original data. So we just did it. Now, now make correction, update figures using data entry screens, correct value to flow to column C to this column. So for me, partnership income, I can include that now it's 80,000. And when we go to this view and print, Uh, this is our original 10, uh, 1040, that is a supplement to our 1040X. So I can see it's 80,000 now, just want to make sure. You go to 1040X and now it shows that the net change is 20,000. So now my income is 80,000 and my tax liability from 14,000 went to 10,374. What a great news, I love it. So that's kind of go everything for 1040x now we have to go back let's go back and make sure we fill everything up here we should explain explanation of changes right so we have to include the k1 income um a oh, it's a better would be like received amended uh k1 with 20k less in income you can say that and amendments could be so many ways but i want to be like you know i want to do like a happy story that we pay less in taxes not we pay less, more in taxes so basically now we just did this correction in c add explanation and e file Follow the standard e-file process. So we need to clear all diagnostic, make it ready for e-file and be good to go. Which is, you know, like we regularly do. But the idea is like, this is how it's gonna look like. Here will be your difference in adjusted income. The way things are calculated as a new 1040 is listed right here. My recommendation is go back and first uh, make sure you enter all these amounts type. What it means, like let's say you have W-2, Schedule C is, you have to enter information from the beginning to make sure this whole thing ties. It will be no difference in here. And then I would add whatever is changed. This way you can double check that original information ties if you're creating tax return for a first time. 
Oh well, so I hope this was not too confusing and good luck. I hope you prefer lots of amended tax return for refunds, not for amounts due. Thank you. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please message me below with your questions, email me, go to my website, subscribe to my channel, let me know that you care so I can make more videos like this. Thank you so much, have a wonderful day and let's do it! Let's have a better next tech season and let's prepare now!